Hey there YouTube, Vagabond Mel here and today I am going to be installing some uh, short reach handlebars for, for my spider. It'll be fun. They're right here in the box. Um, so I, I purchased my handlebars from Le Monster Garage and it might be LA Monster or it might be a uh, low monster. I, I really don't know. This is the before picture. Um, so these are the basic handlebars that came with my Spider RT. This is a 2024 Spider RT Limited. And the handlebars, uh, this is what they look like. Um, I also installed a riser. I thought the riser hopefully would be enough, but it's not enough. I went on a recent journey to Rhode Island. It was an overnight trip, my first overnight trip. And um, it was it was hard on my back. I, I did drive it through the back roads to get to Charleston, Rhode Island. So it was like a three hour journey, maybe more than three hours. And I mean, I, I just couldn't do it. It was, uh, it was pretty, pretty rough. Okay, so let me un unbox my new handlebars. This is the exact product that I bought. It's the short reach handlebar, position A, 2024 models, F3 and RT models. Look at this, they got us candy. They gave us some, some Zots. Zots Blue Raspberry. Isn't that a nice treat? We're gonna need that because this is probably gonna be tough for me to install and I'm gonna need some sugar. Um, this is the place that I bought it from. First things first, I'm gonna uninstall my quad lock. This is the new handlebar. Okay, this is the new handlebar is just resting uh, in my drink holder. But it, it, it has a big difference here, like a few inches. Oh, and another thing, um, hold on, let me, it says, um, you know, the directions are on this website here, but this kit must be installed by, uh, on Applico models only and by an authorized BRP dealer. But I don't want to do that. That'll probably cost money. You know, I, I'm already broke. Okay, YouTube, I don't have a large enough Allen wrench because Allen wrenches it's difficult. Like you need to really have muscle to get these bolts off. And it would be cool if I had like an Allen wrench that would work with this. Torque wrench, is that what it's called? I think it'll be easier. And another thing I, I noticed is right here, Right here it says uh, cancer and reproductive harm. Um, I'm not planning on having any babies, but how am I gonna get cancer by installing my own handlebars? Okay, so I'm on their website. I typed in the number there, the part number, and search. It's not letting me search. All right, you just need that. And then you click the search. And unable to find the instructions you are looking for. What, no matching? Okay, hold on. This was on the box, take to the box. But I don't see a part number though. Instead of entering a, a SKU, I am typing in my part. Short reach handlebar, long reach handlebar. Okay. So I guess there's no video, but there is uh, instructions here. This is what you get in the box. That looks correct. Discard and remove all the password. Okay, seems easy enough. Take that out, take that. I actually know how to do that already. And put that in. 
Yeah, how do I get these bolts out? That's what I want to know. I think as long as I get those bolts out, the rest is easy, right? Tightening torque. So I need a torque wrench. Uh, okay. I have a torque wrench. I just need, I don't even know. How do I, a P3? What, what is this? What is this? It must be painted. Okay. Yeah. Tightening torque. Okay. I don't get that. No. Uh, yeah. I get. I get this. I don't get this. Like, what? Do I need to know that? I don't know. I hope not. And that's that's it. Finalize with reinstalling wires into the cable guides. Yeah, I understand that part. So I, I just, I'm, I need a, a torque wrench, um, for an Allen, an Allen wrench, torque wrench. That's, that's what I need. <laughs> okay, YouTube. So I, I have what I need to get those bolts off. All right. To get that on, you just have to press that button in and it snaps in and uh so to unscrew something it's lefty loosey and this uh little thing right here will tell you do you want to uh, loosen it or tighten it and i think right now it's on tighten so you're going to want to go to switch it to that side this is the moment we all been waiting for can i get this off It's loosening. Thank you. I got all four bolts off and I think that was the hardest part. The handlebars are off. Oh, this is the riser. I should have unclipped these before unbolting the handlebar. Just push, push this tab up and then you could get it over that little latch. You will need a very small Allen wrench for this one. And there's the other screw in the back. Gotta unscrew that. And now these can be easily removed. And just remember which direction this tapered end is facing in toward the center of the handlebar. So just remember that for when you're reinstalling it. Now all that's left to do is gently take these, slide them off, and uh, put the new bar in. Um, I actually didn't realize that you have to unscrew the end caps uh, in order to, to slip this off of the handlebar. And I didn't know that because there are literally no directions anywhere I searched online that thing you saw yesterday on on my computer that was not the right directions so um, I'm using this I think it's a 10 millimeter Allen wrench unscrewing the end caps now that side could come off but this side it doesn't want to come off so I'm gonna loosen loosen it up a little bit by taking out these screws and just loosening it and see if it will come off that way okay i thought the worst of it was over but now this won't come off it's really stuck and i have no idea how to get it off and i have this thing that's hanging wide open um so that's where i am right now I was just looking to see how it's connected, and if you flip this up, there's a couple screws. And this is the Phillips head that you want, T20, to unscrew this one. Now, oh, oh, it could come off. 
And here's the difference in sizes. So this, um, yeah, this is really low. That's, this is a lot higher. Um, man, I hope, the size is such a big difference that I hope that this is actually the right bar. It's supposed to be the right bar. It looks so very different though. I mean, look at that. Look at this is the size of my hand. See, doesn't that look weird? Oh man, I hope I'm doing this right. Okay, so I should probably install these little uh, wire guides first before I um, put on the new handlebars. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I put them on. Don't forget, there's a hole down there that lines up with the hole right there. So um, I'm sure you already knew that, just like I did. Does that look right to you? How come they look backwards? Oh dear, they do look backwards. Did I, does it go the other way? Oh shoot. Yeah, see these little things, um, they're supposed to be screwed on the other way. And um, I didn't do that. I'm sure it'll be fine, but yeah. Okay, unfortunately, I do need more slack for, um, for my wires. Making some dumplings. I finished my dumplings and I'm back at it. Uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get slack um, for these wires. This is gonna be tough. I read on uh, the Spider Lovers forum that you would have to get into this right service cover and this is how you remove it. Open the operator seat, pull the rear lower end of the service cover to unlatch it. Pull the rear lower end. So all the wires converge right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little zip tie. It's super small um, that wraps around all the cords. I somehow need to cut that. And I all I have is a kitchen scissors. I'll, I'll see what I can do. The zip tie is now snipped and the wires are, they're loose. Now I could pull them up and get more slack. They're still kind of caught, like right there. They're all bunched up together. I'm just gonna start off uh, winding this up and then uh, screwing in these two bolts to start and then uh, see how that goes. These bolts are a different size and they take a size seven to screw them back in. I just screwed the, the handle grip back on. Now I'm gonna screw this thing back on. I just put back the left handle grip screw that screws right into the bar and that's good because it makes everything line up oh look at this huge handlebar mm. now i gotta finish doing the right side pray for me I hear a little kid outside playing with his power wheels and I'm inside the garage playing with my power wheels 
only this uh, this part of it was not fun installing these handlebars. Um, so this is the after and yeah, that's looks like a big difference to me. And I sat down and it seems like that cup holder is very close now to my body. I don't know if I like that, but I need a cup holder. Cause I mean, I'm, I'm all about my tea or my decaf coffee and just driving around listening to music. I, I That's what I love. So I, I need some type of cup holder. Um, but I tightened everything up and I hope it still works because this was completely taken apart. Um, I'm not an expert and this is the first time I ever really did anything like this. I'm not an engineer. Um, but I tell you, I think, um, I think it might be more worthwhile for, uh, people to get these handlebars installed by a professional at a shop because, um, this took me a really long time to figure out and well, I mean, I, I don't have a whole lot of money to, um, I don't have a lot of money to play around with these days, so I really wanted to do it myself. I, I have no idea how much it costs to have these professionally installed, but it's probably gonna cost a couple hundred, I would think, just because there's there's a lot to do. There's a lot to it, because these have to, this has to come completely off, and, and you have to like take it apart, and you have to snip that little zip tie to get these wires to loosen up. And I, I really hope I didn't damage it. <laughs> I mean, of course I, I don't want to do that. But I cannot wait for my next long distance journey because I think I'm ready. I think, I think I, I am ready for it. Yeah. <laughs>